Hey everybody, it's Drake from Bullshit Corner. Welcome to today's video. In today's video, we are going to extract the ball joints from the Jeep. Now, these ball joints have never been changed. They've been original in the Jeep since 2003. And in the Canadian weather, we experience all four seasons here. So these ball joints aren't going to come out nicely. I got a ball joint press I've never used. So we're going to pull that out and we're going to see how well it fucking works. Let's bust these brake calipers off by removing these two bolts right there and right there and then the brake caliper will just come off. Okay, I got the caliper all tied up with mechanics wire. Your disc brake will just pull off then. Next step, I'm going to yank off the steering linkage, remove the cotter pin, remove the bolt, and I got a special puller that's going to push down on that without damaging that boot. So let's just remove all that crap. These little pullers work awesome for that. See? Fucking boom! Magic. Alright, let's smash these ball joints out by removing the cotter pins. And then we will knock that fucking spindle off. Our wheel hub. Whatever you want to freaking call it. Sometimes you need to release the beast. The cotter pins broke off inside. So I just took my impact gun on it. Fucking smashed it to bits. Dirty cocksucker. So for the upper ball joint, we got to pull this sucker and extract it up. So you need your cup that's going to fit around the outside diameter. And then this piece up here, because the vise is going to push on that and then suck it up through the bottom. So then I'm going to use this bottom one. Like this, but the center piece is pulled out of here. So it's not going to have that guide to follow it through. So I'll show you once I have it all set up. Okay, I'm all set up now. I'm going to put my wrench on it and extract this. See how well it's gonna come out. Like I said, this pin is fucking snapped out of that one, so it's gonna be an interesting pull. I think we broke her free. Something broke. Yeah, she's coming now. If you did everything right, the top ball joint should just pop out like that, and then she's out. Now to do the bottom one. The orientation of the bottom one to get out, you have your receiving cup on there, you're going to push the ball joint down and into that cup. Well, the impact gun clearly fucking failed. We're going to go the old fashioned fucking snipe. Because the snipe never lets you down. Fucking impact wrench zero, snipe and ratchet one. Done. Fucking out. Fuck, the ball joint broke off inside for fuck's sakes. What a fucking dirty cocksucker. Lucky for the good old PB blaster there, that shit means fucking business. Before I put the ball joint in, just gonna put some grease in there to help lubricate it a little bit, make it go in a little bit easier. Same with on the upper. 
Just going to press the upper ball joint into place and I'm going to use this little cup here on the top and then I'm going to use this receiving cup on the bottom to catch it as she goes through. So I'm going to set her up and I'm going to tighten her down. Once you got it set up, you hope it's going to press in smoothly. Yeah, it looks like we got her in. The bottom one takes a little bit more effort to go in. I'm using a big long cup to push it up to the top here. A little small receiving cup up top to catch the top. And let's set this up so we can fucking plow her through. There we go, we're all pressed in. Okay, once your ball joints are put in place, you can put your axle, knuckle, spindle, whatever the fuck you want to call it back in. I just call it a spindle. We'll just slap the grease nipple on the top here. When in doubt, snipe the fuck out of it and teach it a lesson. Sometimes you gotta get violent to make shit happen. Anyways, I'm gonna end my video on this, on replacing the ball joints in your Jeep. It's pretty simple. Uh, there's a lot of work involved. Like removing the axles, removing the bearings, everything else, trying to get everything where you need it to go so you can remove them. But it takes a little bit of time, but you'll be glad once it's done. There'll be no more wobble, your steering will feel better, and you'll be a lot safer on the road. Because the last thing you want to do is be out on the road, have a ball joint snap, and then your hoop. So if you have any questions or comments, post them below. Otherwise, thanks for watching, and uh, subscribe to see this Jeep build.